Hello, my name is Jonathan Biznet. Today I've got a circuit for you that uh, directly drives an LCD, a, a seven segment uh, LCD, without using a controller chip to do it. Uh, as you'll see, it's basically counting up uh, the numbers 0 through 9 on the display and starting over. Uh, to pull this off, basically I started with a 555 timer, which is going to drive the LCD, but I stole the signal off of it and drove it into a 74HC4040 up here, uh, which is a 12-bit uh, binary ripple counter, and it really, in essence, is dividing the, uh, the count down so that it uh, cycles on a fairly frequent basis. Uh, I'm taking that into this, uh, again, divider chip, which uh, is a 7493, which is taking that, that count and generating me a 4-bit uh, output, uh, the, the hexadecimal value 0 through F. And finally over here I have a 74HC08, which is tied in in such a way that when uh, the, the divider counter chip here generates a uh, hex 0A, it'll force a reset and start it over at 0. So it's constantly counting 0 through 9. Uh, those pieces aren't really pertinent to our overall circuit other than to give us uh, some numbers that cycle through. What you'll see across the bottom here is this wire here is coming right off of the 555 timer and it is going into the common point on the LCD and constantly oscillating on and off, on and off. Uh, the LCD is a capacitive device and you can't really feed it direct uh, DC constantly like you would say an LED uh, you'll burn up the, L the LCD by doing so so you've got to constantly cycle it in a, uh, using a frequency uh, driving it with a frequency of, that, that alternates uh, so the four bits that come out of our counter circuit up there are driven into a 7448 here which basically generates the seven segment code uh, to determine which uh, segments we're going to turn on and which ones we're going to turn off. Those signals are, are then driven into these 74 HC86 which are exclusive OR gates along with an output from the 555 timer which is routed to each of those gates as well. So each, each segment has an exclusive OR on it with the output of the timer and the output from the decoder chip and that allows it to basically for any segment that should be on it puts that segment in opposition to whatever is going in on the common node down here if the segment's supposed to be off it will have the same level as the common node uh, therefore it's only when they're in opposition that the the segment will turn on otherwise the segment will be off and with the constant oscillation when the common goes low the pins that should be on go high. When the common goes high, the pins that should be on go low. Uh, so you're constantly pushing and pulling across those segments to keep them lit. And that happens at a very quick basis. Now I have uh, included a schematic diagram here and you'll see in the upper right hand corner is the, the counting circuitry which really isn't pertinent to this but it's on the diagram just so you can see what I did. Uh, lower right hand corner is the 555 timer which generates our frequency output to drive the LCD and right in the middle is the 7448 uh, segment decoder which is taking that 4-bit binary and generating our uh, 7 segment signal and then you'll see each of those goes into one of those exclusive OR gates along with an output from the 555 timer and again it's basically oscillating the ones uh, to be on and be off uh, I've included here a signal diagram and if you look at this you'll see that I showed you basically two periods for each of the first three uh, characters that appear on the display. Uh, so you'll see the common across the top which is constantly oscillating and then for a zero we have all the segments on except for G and if you look at each of the columns you'll see that all of those segments are in opposition to common uh, for all four sections of the uh, of the zero appearing. For one, the only segments that are on are B and C, and you'll see again those are in opposition to the to the common segment, whereas all the rest are not in opposition. And then kind of the same thing with the number two. 
so that's what you have to do to drive this LCD display. I uh, hope you uh, found that interesting, and uh, I'll have more for you later. Thanks.